beginning. Denise Espinosa is joining. Hello, Denise. Please click on the link that I just sent so you can access this. Currently, we have nine people. Everyone should be on. Um, today, we are going to work on skimming and scanning complex texts. We will identify and locate relevant details, and we will use vocabulary building strategies, things that we did in our last class. If you missed our last class, you can find the recording on Educongus. For class two, um, the objectives are to listen and understand the main ideas. So you will be watching a video. You will actually be listening to a news report and answering questions. This is a Educondus activity. Um, and then for uh, your homework, you will need to work on LAMS Unit 2. So you should be completing two activities. Let's see. I believe Nicolas, no, Joaquin, you just joined. All right. So we're going to add you on here. Joaquin, um, I am sharing this information so that you can join our Nearpod. Please click on the link and use the code to enter. All right, we have 10 people in um, for the next part. I'm going to stop sharing the screen because, because this is an opportunity for you to write an answer. So. Um, let's let it open up. Why did you choose to study at the University of Talca? Why did you choose to study at the University of Talca? Please write your answer on the Nearpod. Let me share the link again. If you are not in the Nearpod, you will need the link. I want to know why did you that we're talking about universities and choices why did you choose the university of talca if you want you can even add a picture to it Yay! And as you put your submissions in, you can read other people's responses. All right, Antonia Harda, you just joined um, the meeting. You will need to click on this link and enter the code in order to participate. So please click on this link and enter the code. And we are getting some excellent responses. Thank you so much. Um, I see people had their names in. Um, wow. Camilo, the, faculty, the engineering faculty is very close to your home. So you can read other people's responses and write a heart on it. You know, just say if you like it.
<laughs> Excellent. All right. Go ahead and share those responses you were working on. You know, all of these are excellent reasons for choosing it. So I see on here, it's a prestigious university. It has a reputation. It's close to home. So that provides its own benefits. It feels safe. Um, it has, it offers certain uh, areas of study that are only available at this university. And it even has great international um, study, abroad study in another country opportunities, international mobility. Okay, I have four, five factors about um, that might influence choosing a university. We're going to read an article about these. Which one is the most important for you? This is a poll. Uh, what factors are most important to you when choosing the University of Tal Talca? Is it cost? Is it enjoyment? So like, do you like the university or college? Is it a perfect fit for you and the activities? What about the quality of instruction? Maybe the type of higher education. Some universities offer design, some don't. Some universities um, only focus on like certain trade schools, some have more. So type of higher education and then postgraduate success. Um, was anyone influenced by the fact that there are master's and doctorate programs at the University of Talga and they are recognized? Still waiting on a few people to answer. And if you are not in here, go ahead and click on this link. It's hard to participate if you are not uh, in here. Currently we have, let's see how many people do we have in our meeting? 16, 15 people, 14, on here, so we're missing one person. Please write to me if there's any technical difficulties. All right, I'm waiting on two people to answer. Let's give it just a little bit and then I will share the results. And three, two, one. So if you're having trouble in, in any internet issues, let's see if I can share this at all. <laughs> Your screen is so much better. What you're seeing is much better. So we can see that the highest thing, the thing that most influenced your decision for the University of Talca is the quality of instruction. Then we have higher type of higher education, enjoyment of college, postgraduate and the and naturally it doesn't have a cost at the universe in Chile lucky you um in the United States there is definitely a huge cost that comes with the university and it influences people's decisions all right we will move on to the next page this is the final question for you did anyone give you advice about choosing a university or about choosing a major? So a major is your area of study. Did anyone give you advice? And what advice did they give you?
I definitely received advice. Um, one of them was uh, to, to get a lot of scholarships because my university experience, all universities and colleges in the US are very expensive. And so I applied to a lot of scholarships. And that was the advice to apply, get scholarships. And if I, if I were to give advice, it would be to study abroad or study internationally, if you can, even a little bit. Um, I have met many people, uh, just, I won't tell you how old I am, but I'm not 20. And many people tell me uh, they wish they had studied abroad. Uh, they wish that they had taken advantage and, and gone internationally. So if I could give you advice, I think a good idea is to study in another country for a month, for two months, whatever you can do. All right, for the recording, I'm going to share the screen. Thank you so much for participating. Amazing. So a lot of people uh, did not get advice. Um, and those who did received it from someone studying at the university. Um, or I really like this advice. Go with what makes sense to you. You are the only one that knows what's right for you. Trust yourself. So thank you very much for sharing. All right, let's stop sharing um, and then we will go to the next page. So I'm going to show you a text um, and we're going to look at it for one or two minutes. I want you to read quickly. So just take one minute. What is this text about? So what you'll need to do is click on it so that you can enter in and see the PDF. Give me a thumbs up if you can. You need to click on it so that you can get this. You can't see it. I will put it here. I hope this works. Please write to me if you do not have it and I will add it in the chat. So we'll just take a minute to look. Fingers are crossed. You know, I hope technology is working for you. Please tell me if you're having a problem so I can make it more accessible. Thirty more seconds. All right, and I'm going to change the slide. So um, please write in the chat here, what will this text be about? Or you can come off mute. Um, what will this text be about?
What do you think? What will this text be about? Mm -hmm. To write to everyone. You don't have to write just to me. I would like this to be a, a, a whole conversation. What do you, what, just from your short, this little view, what will this text be about? I'm feeling tempted to call on someone. If you're feeling confident, raise a hand or write in the chat. Thank you, Camilo, a guide for new college students. Exactly. I love the question mark. We don't know. We're guessing. That's part of this activity. We're looking quick to get an idea. A guide for new college students. Another person wrote to me. Let me just put it in the chat for everyone to see. Maybe it's about university admissions, a guide for admissions at the at a new university or the new university. Yeah, like we're seeing some things there about university. Put it in here so everyone can see it. Hey, I'm all right. I'm. I'm hoping for more participation. So let's see. Um, Alian, what do you think this text will be about? There's no wrong answer. We're just guessing. Tips for choosing a university. Yeah, there you go. All right, and before we continue, what part of a text usually contains the main ideas? In, in any academic text, what part of the text usually contains the main ideas? This question is for everyone. Ooh, yes, the introduction, mm -hmm. the title, the introduction, the first paragraph. Excellent. Yes, very good. So what I am going to do, um, I'd like, I have these uh five uh, titles with the, they are the same ones we voted on cost enjoyment of college and personal fit quality of instruction type of higher education and postgraduate success let's put these here in the in the in the chat cost enjoyment of college personal fit, um, quality of instruction, type of higher education, and postgraduate success. So I want you to read. Okay, 
oops, I'm looking at my teacher view. I want you to read the paragraphs and match, match the paragraph with the title. So this is a little uh, uh, special uh, challenge. I'd like to see you work which uh, paragraph goes with each. I'll share my screen so that the people who are not online can uh, see it. So basically, everyone should have access to this document. If you don't, let me make sure and put it in the chat. We have all of these uh, titles, cost, enjoyment of college, personal fit, quality of instruction, type of higher education, and postgraduate success. So in Nearpod, I want you to match, let me get rid of these instructions, quality of instruction. Is this going with paragraph one, two, three, four, or five? Go ahead and match those up. I will give you five minutes. All right, we have <laughs> All right. come to a close on this activity. Let me stop sharing here. And uh, let's go check out our results. So um, I'm going to show you the pairs here. And you can probably see it on yours, but for the recording, I will show this as well. Paragraph one, type of higher education. So that's going to be going right here. And like you said, that first paragraph, the first couple sentences have the idea. College may not be the right choice for everyone, but you can see there's lots of different universities, trade schools, community colleges, or online colleges. Two, postgraduate success. That was right there. Three, we had quality of instruction. Four, enjoyment of college or personal fit. And five is cost. All right. So let's continue with our vocabulary building. Um, we remember in our last class, we looked at and I'll share this for the recording. Sing a word using context. Um, are there words that are similar to Spanish words? Is there a part of the word that you understand? So you can understand the full word or um, is, do you need to look it up in the dictionary? So I have some questions for you here. Let's see. We're just going to move to this next slide. All right, so first of all, before we um, continue, take a minute and we're going to write in the chat any new words, any new words for you from this reading. What? Write in the chat, write new vocabulary in the chat.
No new vocabulary. Is everyone feeling very um, uh, like they understand the text? Give me a thumbs up if you understand the text. If you do not, please write some new vocabulary in the chat. I'm not seeing any thumbs up or new vocabulary. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. There is some. Thank you very much. Mm hmm. Oh, I found another one to share with everyone. Yes. Excellent. And some of these words um, may be challenging. Uh, they don't have a Spanish equivalent. Um, and so going to a dictionary is a great option. One that I, Camilo, I'm very glad you mentioned uh, GPA because that will come up um, actually in the listening. So just so that everyone knows, GPA is, it's an acronym for grade point average. That means the average over the year of all of the grades. And this is what um, is used, uh, especially as students apply to college to see what their, their educational grade is, like their average overall. So it's called the grade point average or GPA. So that one's a good one to remember. And these words that you picked up are fantastic because they're so good. All right. So your challenge is I'm going to give you another uh, five minutes to read the text and answer the four questions on this quiz that's coming up. So I have your names. I'll stop sharing. Well, I'll go ahead and put on this five minute timer again so that you can read the text and answer the questions. Um, I wish I, anyway, just trust me. I'll tell you when the five minutes is up. Go ahead and read the text and answer the four questions.
All right, I see people are reading and answering questions. Excellent. Continue recording. I forgot to record. Whenever we um, have these pauses, I stop recording because it's boring for the video, but just for this, uh, if anyone actually uh, sees this video afterwards, uh, almost everyone participated and we got 68 correct answers and only 27 were no answered. All right, so let's bop to the next slide. Huh. You know what, my question here did not fully get on. But let's see what it was. What read? What pieces of advice from the reading did you consider to be good? So what pieces of, of advice did you like? I'll put this, which pieces? Which of the pieces of advice from the reading did you consider to be um, good? Go ahead and write. Go ahead and write in the in the Nearpod. Which of the pieces of advice from the reading did you consider to be good? Excellent one. I'm going to take yours and put it into the, the um, Nearpod as well, Constanza. These are all excellent. And I appreciate your feedback so, so much. I'm going to share this um, for the recording. You know what? I think it's important, but this is if you're going to another country, if you're going to study abroad, um, or maybe you could find some scholarships um, that would help you where your living situation or for food. It is important to understand what each paragraph is talking about. And um, yes, I put that one in. I love this as well. Of course, <laughs> we need to, um, oh, <laughs> it, it, the university is just the university. It is not your entire life. It's a whole other adventure when you graduate. So enjoy this time get what you can out of it you won't be going back to this experience um but it is not your entire life so you've got some options in the future 
Yes. And there's, um, thankfully, the University of Talca offers so many activities. And it's better to take time to find out what to do. So thank you so much for participating. Um, our next slide. So far, are you, you happy with your decision um, to be at the University of Talca? Uh, this is just a poll. I will not be sharing this with the university. I will take your eyes off, like, so we don't see any names, and you can uh, answer. Are you uh, happy? Do you strongly agree? I am very happy with the University of Talca. Are you unhappy? <laughs> strongly disagree. Or I did put one in the middle. I just don't know. I'm not happy. I'm not unhappy. I can't decide today. All right. We just have a two unanswered, so I'll go ahead and share with you that the most, most people, um, let's see if I can show this student view. Nope, I can't show the answer. All right, most people are uh, happy. Um, there are six, uh, 0.7 uh, answers that strongly agree. And there are people that feel unsure. You know, what's very interesting is most people, that no one is unhappy with their decision to be at the University of Talca. And that's great news. If you had to apply to a university again, is there anything that you would do differently? This is our final question for today. If you had to apply to college again, is there anything that you would do differently? If you want, you can start a sentence out with I would. I put it in the chat. You had to apply to college again. Is there anything that you would do differently? And only share something that you would want me to share with them. Um, the group. So the first one I'm sharing, I just think is a, a, an interesting observation. This could be advice for other students. I would have tried to apply to a foreign college. Um, another person says, no, nope, I think I did it well and at the right time. Excellent. You know, maybe take a little bit more time to think about it, but we're happy with the decision. Um, this is amazing. I wouldn't do anything different because I'm very happy with my decision. I really love my university.
Um, Camilo, would you mind sharing a little bit more about yours? What is there any foreign uh, colleges that you wanted to go to? Well, I have one more that I want to share. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Camila. All right. So Camila said in the chat, I wanted to study abroad, like to learn English. I, yeah, I wanted to study abroad too. <laughs> um, and then thank you, um, Denise. If I had the opportunity to apply for something again, I would like to be guided more by what I love and not by what others want. That's a very important distinction. And thank you very much for sharing. So um, everyone, thank you for participating using Nearpod. Um, I'm excited that you're going to be celebrating the 18. I'm jealous. I wish I were there. For class two today, in order to get attendance, you have a class two. Oh, am I looking at the right one? Yes, class two. It does say it's a vocabulary building. This seems incorrect. I think I put the wrong one up. I'm so sorry. Let me put the correct one on. Um, what we want to do is behind the scenes. I'm not sure what I did wrong here. Let's get the right one up. All right, uh, behind the scenes at this one. Um, so this one is class one vocabulary building is, is if you want it, but I wanted you to do the behind the scenes at student admissions. That is going to be your activity that needs to be completed before, um, before our next class. We do not have class next week, so it needs to be completed before September 27th. All right. Um, I will stay on to answer any questions. Um, please, uh, your homework, your class two is behind the scenes in the student admissions. Yes. I don't understand the activity too, or the attendance. Sure. So we have two classes. The first class is on Zoom. And then our second class is an activity on Educondus. And uh, this is the activity. Unit two behind the scenes at student admissions. I wish I could share it. Does that make sense? Yes, I see. And you should complete it before class on um what date? On September 29th. 
However, I will stay on right now. I suggest you do it right now so I can answer any of your questions. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> And does anyone else have a question? All right, then. All right, so I'm going to stop recording. I will upload this.